Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today I thought I would try something new out as we take a look at the 20 highest selling basketball cards from the recent Mile High auction that ended on August 6th of 2022. This is one of a couple dozen auction houses that I look through when covering the monthly recap videos I try to release each month. I have several honorable mentions that will be featured after the number one card towards the end of the video, including some unopened wax boxes complete basketball card sets, and even some memorabilia. And kicking today's list off at number 20 is this 1986 Fleer Hakeem Olajuwon sticker, sticker number 9. With a starting bid of $1,100, this PSA 10 received 10 bids and sold for $3,432. The last PSA 10 comp for this sticker sold for $4,920, at a heritage auction back in July. Graded 4,522 times by PSA, this sticker is a pop of 61 in a PSA 10. We get another sticker from the 1986 Fleer basketball set at number 19, this time with this Isaiah Thomas, sticker number 10. With a starting bid of $1,000, this PSA 10 received 10 bids and sold for $3,432. This sale is slightly down as the last PSA 10 sold for $3,960 back in May. Graded 3,310 times by PSA, this sticker is a pop of 40 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 18 is this 1986 Fleer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, card number one. With a starting bid of $1,750, this PSA 10 received seven bids and sold for $3,815.46. The last PSA 10 comp I could find sold for $5,101 back in June, while the all-time record sell of this card is still held by a PSA 10 that sold for $18,600 back in February of this year. We get our first vintage card at number 17 with this 1969 Topps Wilt Chamberlain card number one. With a starting bid of $900, this PSA 8 received 14 bids and sold for $3,735.60. This sale is slightly up as the last PSA 8 comp I could find sold for $3,500 back in July. Graded 2,097 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 119 in a PSA 8, with only 19 copies graded higher, including a pop of 9 in a PSA 9 for the highest graded copies. The all-time record sale of this card is still held by one of those pop of 9 PSA 9s that sold for $276,000 at a heritage auction back in January of 2022. Up next at number 16 is this 1986 Fleer Dominique Wilkins, sticker number 11. With a starting bid of $2,750, this PSA 10 received three bids and sold for $4,093.44. The last comp I could find for this sticker in a PSA 10 was for $4,800 back in July. Graded 3,316 times by PSA, the sticker is a pop of 57 in a PSA 10. We get our first modern card at number 15 with this 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron James Rookie Refractor, card number 111. With a starting bid of $2,500, this PSA 8 received 7 bids and sold for $5,850. This sale is drastically down, even compared to other 2022 sales. I counted a total of 11 PSA 8 comps of this refractor in 2022, and they were all between roughly 9 and 13 grand. Graded 677 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 99 in a PSA 8.
We're back to the 1986 Fleer basketball set at number 14 with this Charles Barkley, card number 7. With a starting bid of $1,850, this PSA 10 received 11 bids and sold for $6,340.80. The sale is down as the average sale price for the last 10 PSA 10 comps averaged around eight grand. The all-time record sale of this Charles Barkley rookie is still held by a PSA 10 that sold for $24,177 back in February of 2021. Graded 8,811 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 236 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 13 is this 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron James Rookie, card number 111. With a starting bid of $1,500, this PSA 10 received 12 bids and sold for $7,015.92. This price is right in line with the average sale price of recent PSA 10 auctions. This card was consistently selling for 35 to 40 grand back in February of 2021. PSA has now graded this card close to 8,000 times, and a PSA 10 is a pop of 2,202. Coming in at number 12, is this 1986 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie, card number 57. With a starting bid of $2,000, this SGC 8.5 received 13 bids and sold for $7,728.09. I found a total of nine sales of this Jordan rookie from 2022 in a SGC 8.5 that averaged roughly $7,200. SGC has graded this card 2,916 times, and an SGC 8.5 is a pop of 388. There was a handful of these SGC graded Jordan rookies at the August Mile High auction, but this was the highest selling and also the highest graded copy featured. Up next at number 11, is this 2003 Topps LeBron James First Edition, card number 221. With a starting bid of $2,000, this PSA 10 received 13 bids and sold for $9,352.92. This sale is right in line with the average sale price of the last three PSA 10s that sold all at a recent golden auction. I didn't realize how high this card got back in the winter and spring of 2021 as they were going for about 45 grand. This first edition Topps LeBron rookie has been graded 578 times by PSA, and a PSA 10 is a pop of 120. The human highlight film is back to kick off the top 10 with this 1986 Fleer Dominique Wilkins, card number 121. With a starting bid of $2,750, this PSA 10 received 9 bids and sold for $10,625.97. This sale is down, as I was able to find 7 prior 2022 sales of this card in a PSA 10 that averaged $16,427. The all-time record sale of this card is still held by a PSA 10 that sold for $24,914.40 back in March of 2021. I also like to check how far back I can find comps for some of these iconic 1986 Fleer basketball cards. Back in 2008, you could have picked up this card in a PSA 10 for around $1,500 on eBay. Graded 5,626 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 94 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 9 is this 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron James Rookie Refractor, card number 111. With a starting bid of $4,000, this PSA 9 received 10 bids and sold for $11,605.05. This is another card that has really come down, 
as PSA 9s were selling for between 50 and 65 grand back in early 2021. The all-time record sell of this LeBron refractor is still held by a BGS Gold Label 10 that sold for $216,000 at a golden auction back in April of 2021. This refractor is a pop of 351 in a PSA 9 with 174 graded higher in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 8 is this 2021-22 Panini Contenders Cade Cunningham 1 of 1 Gold Shimmer, card number 101. With a starting bid of $2,000, this PSA 9 with a 10 auto received 23 bids and sold for $15,138.84. I don't have much to say about this card other than I was pretty surprised to see someone put this up for auction at an auction house that is more known for vintage cards. We get another classic vintage basketball card at number 7, with this 1961 Fleer Jerry West, card number 43. With a starting bid of $4,000, this PSA 8 received 11 bids and sold for $15,512.76. This sale is only about 3 grand short from what this card has been selling for in a PSA 8 recently. The all-time record sell of this card is still held by a PSA 9 that sold for $87,000 at a heritage auction back in August of 2021. Graded 1,652 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 155 in a PSA 8, with 83 copies graded higher, including a pop of 3 in a PSA 10. Unfortunately, I was unable to find any prior sales of a PSA 10. Up next at number 6 is this 1961 Fleer Bill Russell, card number 38. With a starting bid of $2,500, this PSA 9 received 20 bids and sold for $16,815.60. This is the first sell of this card in a PSA 9 in over a year. All of the past comps I was finding were from PWCC auctions back when they had an eBay account. Graded 1,292 times by PSA, this card is a pop of only 29 in a PSA 9, and there are none graded higher. Kicking off the top 5 of today's list is this 1972 Topps Julius Irving, card number 195. With a starting bid of $4,000, this PSA 9 received 14 bids and sold for $18,865.74. The last 10 sales of this card in a PSA 9 have averaged around 22K. While this card is a pop of 160 in a PSA 9, it's worth noting there is a pop of one PSA 10 out there somewhere, but I was unable to find any prior sales of that card. Up next at number 4 is this 1961 Fleer Wilt Chamberlain, card number 8. With a starting bid of $2,500, this PSA authenticated auto received 21 bids and sold for $21,464.40. The last comp I could find for an autographed copy of this card was for $28,800 from a golden auction back in June. It is worth noting that that one was autographed on the front of the card. Coming in at number 3 is this 1986 Fleer Johnny Moore, card number 76. With a starting bid of $5,000, this PSA 10 received 14 bids and sold for $24,271.20. Someone got a huge discount on this card, as the last five prior sales of this card in 2022 in a PSA 10 have averaged $64,437. Graded 3,101 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 67 in a PSA 10.
Up next at number two is this 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron James Black Refractor, card number 111. With a starting bid of $9,000, this PSA 9 received 12 bids and sold for $25,267.89. The sale is down as there has been six previous sales of this black refractor in a PSA 9 in 2022, with those six sales averaging $40,600. The all-time record sale of this card is still held by a PSA 10 that sold for $480,000 at a heritage auction back in February of 2021. This LeBron Black Refractor is a pop of 76 in a PSA 9, with 21 copies graded higher in a PSA 10. Topping off today's list for the 20 highest selling basketball cards from the Mile High Auction of August of 2022 is this 1957 Topps Bill Russell, card number 77. With a starting bid of $9,000, this SGC 7.5 received 27 bids and sold for $51,249.60. With the half grade, it's harder to determine how strong this sell is. The last comp I could find for an SGC 7.5 was for $3,599 as an eBay buy it now all the way back in January of 2013. There has been two sales of an SGC 7 in 2022, with those two sales averaging $24,687, but the last SGC 8 sold for $167,158 at a Leland's auction back in January of 2022. Alright guys, for some honorable mentions, we'll kick things off with some unopened wax boxes. First up is this 1996 Topps Chrome Basketball Hobby Box. With a starting bid of six grand, this box received six bids and sold for $14,418.06. There were actually two of these boxes up for auction, and the other one received five bids and sold for $13,730.49. There's a total of four Hall of Fame rookies you can pull in this box, including Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, Steve Nash, and Ray Allen. Up next was a 1981-82 Topps Basketball Unopened Wax Box wrapped by BBCE. With a starting bid of $600, this box received 7 bids and sold for $4,086.06. You could pull a ton of Hall of Famers out of this BBCE wrap box, or even possibly some really cool G.I. Joe cards. Up next was a 2-box lot of 1989-90 Fleer Basketball. This two box lot had a starting bid of $300, receiving seven bids and sold for $775.20. There was also another listing with one box of 1989-90 Fleer Basketball that was BBCE wrapped that sold for $471.60. Uh, moving on to complete sets, there was a handful of complete sets up for auction in August, including this 1986 Fleer Basketball set Here's the description for the lot listing. While the Jordan was graded a PSA 6, there were a few cards graded higher, including the Hakeem Olajuwon in an 8, and even the Patrick Ewing rookie in a 9. I was surprised to see at how low this set sold for at first, but then after reading the description, I realized the majority of the set was ungraded. According to the description, the bulk of the ungraded cards appeared 40% near mint to mint, 45% near mint, with the remaining 15% being low to mid-grade due to centering issues. With a starting bid of $2,000, this set received 13 bids and sold for $7,024.53. There was another 1986 Fleer set featured on lot number 2493. Only the Jordan was graded by SGC on this one, but the set did include the complete set of stickers as well. With a starting bid of $1,750, this complete set received 12 bids and sold for $6,765. There was one other 1986 Fleer basketball set featured on lot number 2494 that sold for $5,269.32. And for any vintage basketball collectors out there, 
There was a near complete 1961 Flare ungraded set featured on lot number 2489. While the listing states it included 52 out of the 66 cards in the set, it did include several key rookie cards, including Wilt Chamberlain, Oscar Robinson, Jerry West, and Elgin Baylor. With the starting bid of $400, this set received 16 bids and sold for $4,318.80. The last set I will go over was this 1976 Topps Complete Basketball Set. The set was featured on lot number 2490 and was titled 1976 Topps Exceptionally High Grade Complete Set. While this was the only picture featured on their website, these cards do seem to be in high grade condition and the Julius Irving was graded a near mint 8 by PSA. This complete set had a starting bid of $250, it received 14 bids and sold for $1,856.40. And for any basketball memorabilia fans out there, there were three basketball jerseys up for auction, and the highest selling one was this 1979 Julius Irving Philadelphia 76ers game used jersey, which sold for $18,122.82. The next jersey that was featured on lot number 2502 was this Michael Jordan signed Mr. June Chicago Bulls jersey that sold for $8,011.20. And the last basketball jersey that was up for auction included this 2004-05 Kobe Bryant Lakers game used home jersey that sold for $5,804.37. Let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comment section below. It'd be uh, sincerely appreciated. If I do one of these auction house reviews in the future, I might go ahead and feature a ton of the cards and honorable mentions that didn't make the list. Anyways, thanks for joining me today guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.